A major issue facing Trinidad and Tobago is the rapid depletion of our local fish species in the Gulf of Paria. This is caused by pollution and overfishing. The problem will get worse with further industrialization on the coastline. Local fish species such as shark, bonito, snapper, carrot, cavalli, and flatfish are becoming scarcer each day. Our solution to this problem is utilizing aquaculture engineering to build a recirculating aquaculture system which uses mechanical, biological, process, and genetic engineering. Recirculating aquaculture system, or RAS, salt water is pumped from the Gulf of Paria via submersible pumps. This water passes through a series of filters and is stored in on an on-site storage tank. The water is then pumped through a second series of micron filters into an aeration system. A heater cooler is now used to regulate the temperature of the water which goes through the UV system where bacteria is removed. The water is now ready to be distributed to the ponds, grow tanks, hatchery and live field culture tanks. The processed salt water is used by the hatchery and grow tanks where spawn eggs are first hatched in an enclosed environment and then transfer to larger grow tanks after they meet the required size. Live field culture tanks produce the zooplankton, which is the food source for the newly hatched fingerlings. Once the fingerlings reach the required size, they are then transferred to the large outdoor ponds where they are fed pellet supplements to increase their mass and growth weight. At an adult stage, the fish is ready to be harvested. Waste water from each of the systems are extracted and then sent to the biofiltration system. The waste water passes through the biofilters and then enters the sump tank, where samples are taken and tested in our on-site laboratory to ensure that they meet the required pH and BOD levels before being pumped out to the sea. 